Welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to find the Mellin transform of 1 over the square root of 4x plus 1. Then uh, we are going to evaluate integral from 0 to infinity dx over uh, 4th root of x cube times the square root of 4x plus 1. <coughs> okay, first uh, we know the definition of Mellin transform. Mellin transform of uh, f of f of x, and this is equal to integral from zero to infinity x to the s minus one times f of x dx. Okay, then um, here. In our question, we have f of x uh, 1 over square root of 4x plus 1. Therefore, we can write here x to the s minus 1 and f of x we know uh, 1 over the square root of 4 times x plus 1 dx. Okay, then uh, to evaluate uh, this integral, now I am going to take a substitution uh, square root of 4 times x plus 1 is equal to t uh, then square both sides so 4x plus 1 is equal to t square uh, then we can isolate the x we know x is equal to t square minus 1 over 4 uh, then differentiate dx is equal to uh, here 2 times t 2 get cancelled so t over 2 dt okay then uh, we can apply here we can plug in so we can write uh, now uh, limit here one when x approaches to infinity you also approaches to infinity and here x we know x is equal to t square minus 1 t square minus 1 over 4 raised to the s minus 1 uh, and here uh, 1 over square root of 4x plus 1 square root of 4x plus 1 we know t so 1 over t and dx we know t over 2 dt okay then uh, here t get cancelled 1 over 2 is a constant so we can write outside the integral 1 over 2 here also we have 4 raised to the s minus 1 so 1 over 4 raised to the s minus 1 integral from 1 to infinity now here we have t square minus 1 raised to the s minus 1 dt okay then uh, here we can uh, simplify here we can write 2 raised to the uh, 2s minus 2 here 1 so we know 1 over 2 raised to the 2s minus 1 then uh, uh, to evaluate uh, this integral again we can take a substitution so I am going to take um, t is equal to 1 over u then uh, differentiate dt is equal to minus 1 over u square du now uh, we should change the limit uh, we know when uh, t approaches to uh, 1 lower limit when t approaches to 1 here we know u also approaches to 1 upper limit when t approaches to infinity we know u approaches to 0 okay then here t square t square we know 1 over u square so 1 over u square minus 1 raised to the s minus 1 power times uh, dt we know minus 1 over u square du okay then uh, here 1 over 2 raised to the 2s minus 1 power integral from uh, now we can uh, change the boundaries like 0 to 1 when we change the boundaries we know this minus sign get cancelled and here we can simplify 1 minus uh, u square raised to the s minus 1 over and here we have uh, u square raised to the uh, s minus 1 here also we have uh, u square here we can write u raised to the 2s minus 2 so this 2 minus 2 get cancelled here we have u raised to the 2 times s d 
u okay now uh, how to evaluate uh, this integral now we have another integral uh, to evaluate uh, this integral i am going to take another substitution so uh, u is equal to v times sine of theta then du is equal to v times sorry uh, u is equal to um, not v u is equal to uh, sine of theta so du is equal to cosine of theta d theta therefore uh, we can write now uh, this is equal to 1 over uh, 2 raised to the 2 is minus 1 now integral uh, when uh, u approaches to 0 we know u approaches to 0 sine of uh, so here also 0 when u approaches to 1 upper limit we know pi over 2 so 0 to pi over 2 now 1 minus u square so we know 1 minus sine square cosine square uh, so we have cosine raised to the 2s uh, minus 2 cosine raised to the 2s minus 2 theta over now here u raised to the 2s so sine raised to the 2s power of theta and then du du we know cosine of theta d theta cosine of theta t theta okay let us uh, simplify so here we can write 1 over 2 raised to the 2s minus 1 integral from 0 to pi over 2 now here cosine of 2s minus 2 here 1 power so we know cosine raised to the 2s minus 1 of theta sine raised to the minus 2s of theta d theta okay then uh, we know about uh, the Euler's beta function uh, the definition of beta function beta of m n is equal to 2 times integral from 0 to pi over 2 sine raised to the 2m minus 1 of theta cosine raised to the 2n minus 1 of theta d theta so we can write now uh, here 1 over 2 raised to the 2s minus 1 times uh, here 2 so we know 1 over 2 beta of now uh, we should find the m and n 2m minus 1 is equal to s minus 1 so s uh, then 2n minus 1 is equal to minus 2s so we know n is equal to 1 uh, minus 2s over 2 okay then uh, we know the relation between uh, beta function and gamma function beta of m n is equal to gamma of n gamma of n over gamma of m plus n so we can write uh, here 1 over 2 raised to the uh, now 2 s minus 1 here 2 so we know 2 raised to the 2s power times gamma of s times gamma of 1 minus 2s over 2 over gamma of uh, s plus 1 half minus s so s get cancelled so here gamma of 1 half okay then uh, we know here 1 over 4 raised to the s times uh, here is gamma of 1 half we know the square root of pi times gamma of s times gamma of now here we can simplify one half minus s gamma of one half minus s okay uh, this is the melin transform of one over square root of four x plus one then we have to evaluate uh, an interesting integral integral from zero to infinity integral from 0 to infinity dx over uh, fourth root of x cube the square root of 4x plus 1 okay then uh, let us simplify a little bit we can write this is equal to 0 to infinity here we have x to the 3 over 4 power so we can write in the numerator 
x to the minus 3 over 4 so this is also equal to x to the uh, 1 over 4 minus 1 now if we simplify uh, we know here minus 3 over 4 and uh, in the denominator we have the square root of 4x plus 1 dx now we know this is the definition of Mering transform and instead of s we have 1 over 4 so we know s is equal to 1 over 4 so we can write this is equal to uh, 1 over 4 s to the s so 1 over 4 raised to the 1 over 4 power and here gamma of uh, sorry here 1 over square root of pi then gamma of uh, 1 over 4 times gamma of 1 half minus 1 over 4 so we can write this is equal to now 1 over uh, here 2 raised to the 2 power 1 over, so square root of 2 times pi uh, gamma square of 1 over 4 okay this is the answer if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching